Okay, here is a brake job that I've done on my wife's uh, 2011 535. It's the F10 platform. Um, her brake wear sensor recently came off, and actually it was more than recently. It was two or three months ago, and I've waited, and as you'll see from the thinness of some of the pads, it was probably uh, a little bit over a month or a month and a half overdue. There was uh, on the left side, there were literally two millimeters of uh, brake pad left. So anyway, the start of the brake job here is removing the clip, which wasn't that difficult. Uh, just use a pry bar, then get uh, an 18 millimeter socket. And I use some deep penetrating oil to loosen up or help loosen up the 17 millimeter uh, bolts in the back of the caliper. Um, if you let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes, it becomes a lot easier to then just remove it with a torque gun. The two bolts are pretty easy to spot. One's there, the other one I'm not actually showing, but just underneath that. So just zap that with a gun, clean them up. I had a little bit of rust. <laughs> on those so just get rid of the rust and then um, before I reapply them or uh, I put some uh, blue Loctite on it that way make sure that the bolts don't back out so just get that cleaned up and uh, just before you reapply the bolts put some uh, blue Loctite on those you can see the new pads sitting off to the left I get those through FCP Euro um, the pads and rotors lasted about 40,000 miles, so depending on how long you plan to keep the car, uh, it makes sense to get it through FCP and use their lifetime warranty. All right, this box, my God, there was so much dirt in there, as you can see. Um, I didn't realize the brake wear sensor is only on the left-hand side, so I was going to show you in this video how to replace that brake wear sensor, but it, it would sit right above it in that space that's free. And it's a really simple installation. You just follow the line, remove the old sensor, and add the new sensor back in. You can remove the brake sensor. Uh, where the sensor is in the caliper itself, so you can just uh, pop that out and uh, push it back in. The lines are like 25 bucks, and they are included uh, with the uh, rebuild kit. So you can see here that the rotor will move. So um, you can just use a pry bar, rest it against that arm, and loosen up that uh, X bolt. I think it was a six millimeter. Pretty easy for it to come out. Get that cleaned up before you reinsert it. And the rotor needed a little convincing to come out. I just tried tapping it uh, first with a pry bar but they didn't do anything so then I just got a mallet and that out. Watch your feet so it doesn't slide on your uh, toes and break them. There it is. That rotor lasted about 60,000 miles. BMW replaced it shortly after bought the car in uh, about 2016. So just looking around dirty but uh, don't see a lot of corrosion really everything is in a pretty good shape checking all the bolts and you can see the bump stop is completely worn out so that's gonna have to be the next job uh, use caliper hangers to hang the caliper make sure that you're not putting any stress on the brake line and I have unfortunately filmed this uh, at the wrong angle, so I had to rotate this, so that's why it came out uh, small like that. Um, I fought with the pads quite a bit, so finally figured out the best way to put those back in is you insert the caliper arm, and then you insert the uh, outer pad. You kind of have to, you can see that now, kind of have to move up the caliper arm on the bottom. It has two arms that extend and you need to lift those up in order for the little ears on the end of each of the brake pads to, to fit in. So it took me a little bit of while to push this in, but again, just take your time with it. it will eventually pop. And again, make sure that the little ears on the bottom 
fall in place and you got the proper clearance. If you have, if you're not sure if you have enough clearance, you can bring the new rotor and try to insert it, make sure that it fits. Um, and anyway, I just ended up pushing that in. And uh, keep an eye out on your breakthrough level. Your reservoir obviously needs to be open in order for uh, for you to be able to push back um, the piston. I actually didn't pay enough attention to mine and uh, ended up spilling quite a lot of uh, brake fluid. So brake fluid. Okay, I reinserted the rotor or inserted a new rotor. I went with the sync um, rotors from Zimmerman. Again, went through FCP Euro. Uh, they look kind of funky, but as soon as you bet the brakes, that kind of a silver color um, does wear off. Uh, once you insert the caliper and secure it, um, you then need to uh, reinsert the clip. The clip holds the caliper in place and ensures that the, the brake pads uh, won't come off. This was probably the, the most difficult part of the job. It took me about 15 minutes to figure out how to uh, pop it back in. So I did the upper part of the clip, then the middle part, and then kind of had to muscle the, the bottom of it in. I'm sure there's a better way of doing that. Um, I just haven't found it yet. So, And then as you, you'll be able to see, I was kind of feeling around. The clip didn't feel like it was positioned uh, equidistant from the bottom to the top. So I, I messed around with it a little bit, pulled the top um, a little bit up or I guess further out and away to make sure that uh, it's aligned and parallel with the caliper itself. That's what I was doing right there. So. That's pretty much it for the brake job. Uh, once you're happy with it, uh, put your wheels back in. Uh, here I just flashed the message that you'll see. Once you replace the sensor, then you need to uh, put the car in accessory mode, which means that you press the button once, uh, the start button once, and then Make start sure the reset. Stand on the brake. Um, it actually didn't work for me initially, and uh, I think it was because I was actually uh, had my foot on the brake. So I tried doing it, doing it again without uh, my foot on the brake, and the reset again did not work. So then I kind of rolled through the menu. If you press it, if you do a single press, I did the brake fluid reset. I wanted to see if it was going to be successful on uh, any of the other options and i've also already done the brake fluid i just didn't go through the reset so i went ahead and did that and that worked so i went back to the front brake reset and third time's the charm here so once you're able to reset it you're pretty much done with the job Next time you start the car, uh, the error message uh, should go away. So you will go directly into this menu. And uh, that's the end of the job. So hopefully this is useful. Thanks for watching.